and welcome back to the channel. I am your host Tyrant and today we're going to be doing some leather craft. Yes, I've only, I think I've only done one video on the entire channel that's leather craft, which is sad because I do a lot of leather craft. Uh, usually I need it really quickly so I don't make videos about it. But today I had the perfect project that I thought would make a good video as well and that is a sword frog. Yes, a sword frog is basically just uh, a holder for your sword. That's all it is. Uh, now this is one I made about a month, a uh, month and a half, maybe two months ago, and it works. It's perfectly functional. However, it's very flimsy. It's very floppy, which is not something that I want for my frog. So I'm basically just gonna use this as a template to make it again. And the only difference is the leather I'm gonna be using is a little bit more heavy duty, a little bit more robust. Uh, which is what I personally want for my frog. But this is the design I'm gonna be using. See, I can't even hold it up because it's so floppy, see? But this is the design that I'm gonna be using. Uh, so let's go through some of the basic tools you need to do leather craft. Now, the reason why I enjoy leather craft so much is because you don't really need that much. For example, a hammer, a knife, things like some rivets and the riveting tools. And apart from that, pretty much just some leather. Here I have a big, big giant hide of leather that I'm gonna be using not only for this project, but for, but for another special project that I'm hoping to do uh, in the coming months. But this is the leather I'm gonna be using for my frog. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit more heavy duty. So this is a very, uh, this is quite a big piece of leather. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cut off a piece that will fit our frog and work with that because working with this big giant uh, uh, hide isn't very easy when you're in such a confined space. So I just want to get a basic idea of where the holster will fit, cut out a nice little chunk that will uh, be easy to work with. So now we've got out our rough template shapes, at least the big ones. And as you guys saw, it's very easy. You're just basically cutting them to the shape that you need. Now, this does take a little bit longer when you don't have something like a template all ready to go, but it's still pretty quick for the most part. Uh, these are the two main parts. I'm gonna fold these bits over and uh, rivet them. That'll be where our belt goes through. This is the part that actually holds the sword. We've gotta put some uh, clasps on it. This one here, this one's very soft, very supple. It's nice, but not for the purpose that I'm wanting. However, this one, the leather is far, far more rigid and is a lot better for the purpose purpose of being uh, something like a frog. Now the clasps I'm gonna be using are the exact same ones that I've already got on here. This is what I got them off. They're supposed to be braces, but to be honest, they're crap. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting these little uh, buckles off and using the same sort of ones for this one. So let's go do that now.
And here it is, the finished frog. Now, today's video, I was kind of uh, speed running. I need this for tomorrow, so I took about 20 minutes out of my day to get this done. I will show you the quality between my original one that I made and the new one, because this one is far more sturdy, far more robust, and I think this is a perfect replacement for my original one. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I was speed running today's video. I had about 20 minutes to get this done, and it is done. So before we close out today's video, let's see how this thing wears on the belt, and uh, get some second opinions, not from people on the street, but the next best thing. Let's go. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm here to show you my frog. What do you think? As a, oh. as a HEMA dude, what are your thoughts? As a HEMA, oh well, I've done HEMA, um, though I am, not, I am not the HEMA dude, but that is very nice. You like it? That is very nice. And the reason why I'm showing Nate is because he's actually the one who was able to get me the leather for a really good price. Yeah. So I thought you'd want to see my new one that's nice and rigid. Remember how my other one was so floppy? Yeah, this is actually really nice. I feel like you'll want a little bit of softness around here, but the rest of it, yeah, it's like, actually a really good pattern. Yeah, it's a like really good pattern. 20 minutes, and this is what I came up with. 20 minutes? Yeah. I hate you. What do you think of this? I made this for one of my videos. Do you like it? I like it. What do you think of the quality? I think uh, it's a little too clean cut on the edges. Um, the leather feels a little, okay, if you're wanting to honest opinion, honest Go opinion. for it, go for it. The leather feels a little too synthetic. Oh, it's real leather. Like it, it's, it's I, I can, I can tell, I can tell. Why does it feel synthetic? Uh, it's think? just the way this is treated. You reckon and it's, it's the treatment? Yeah, yeah. And because um, I'm... I think with some weathering, this would look really authentic. Well, it only took me 20 minutes. And yeah. I just wanted to get some people's opinions on it, because... But other than that, like, solid, man. Legit. Oh. Say hello to people on my channel, because hey. they will know you. Oh, <laughs> really? Thank you for your honest opinion. I'll uh -huh. be taking that now, because I need it for today's video. Mm -hmm.